Well, let me begin with what I hope would not come out of it, and that is uh, parochialism, uh, defensiveness, uh, confessionalism, uh, proselytism. I see no indication that any of that is actually happening, uh, but it does happen, not with Mormon institutes, but with other kinds. And I think, you know, Mormons always need to be aware of, of that as a, uh, a move that would be uh, dangerous for them. Uh, what I would hope to see emerging is a greater integration of Mormon studies with the rest of American studies. Uh, I'm a Methodist, and so I will say that I think the bane of Methodist studies is that uh, we write for other Methodists. And it becomes a very comfortable brotherhood and sisterhood of people writing for each other. And uh, we get focused upon uh, trivia, uh, minutia, and that has its place. Uh, there are times and places where we need that kind of detail. Uh, but to keep uh, your eyes as Mormon scholars, my eyes as a Methodist scholar, uh, and others on the larger picture, the larger horizon. What does this tell us about American history? What does it tell us about uh, world religions? What does it tell us about uh, movements in general? How do movements arise? Uh, and I, I, that brings me to a point that I uh, have forgotten, and that I think the study of Mormonism is an excellent way to come to understand how movements in general, social movements, religious movements in particular, how they galvanize uh, and how they grow, attract people, how they deal with opposition. Um, in, in this sense, the, the, the Mormon tradition is, is an excellent case study of a lot of other uh, issues that we, uh, we could pinpoint.